Couple of quick tips for you if you were raised by a narcissistic or emotionally immature or just a toxic parent. It's very likely that in your adulthood, you can listen to other people when they're speaking, you can see it in their mannerisms, you can feel that underlying anger and hate that really toxic people have. If you have this radar, do not ignore it. If someone feels like home to you and your home was dysfunctional, that should be a sign. I can't tell you how many times in my adult life I have ignored the signs that someone clearly has this like boiling anger that's just underneath the surface. And you're like, no, I'm reading into it. That's just in my head. And then it comes back to bite you in the rear end. And you're like, oh my gosh, they are actually really that angry, terrible person. That is the one positive thing I think that you get from being raised by emotionally immature, toxic, narcissistic parents is that you get that radar, but you gotta listen to it. And you gotta listen to it sooner rather than later. Because if you don't protect yourself from a narcissist, they're going to take the time that you trust them to gather information about you that they will use against you later. I'm not saying that you need to be paranoid and fearful of all people at all times. I'm saying that if you notice that somebody is really toxic, that you're feeling like they might be, you need to put up some walls until you are proven otherwise. And this is really hard for people that have been in narcissistic relationships or have had narcissistic parents because it's hard to ever trust your intuition again. It's hard to ever trust your judgment again, but you gotta let your intuition and your judgment have a fighting chance. If your radar is going off, back off for a minute wait and see how the situation plays out. Because unfortunately, if you've trusted people like that in the past, it's likely that you will trust them again in the future. You just need to second guess it just, just a little bit. You don't need to be fearful of all people forever. I don't want that to be the message that's coming across here. I'm just saying, don't ignore your intuition. Your intuition and your gut, if you listen to it, will almost never point you in the wrong direction.